Oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome back everybody to the 96th annual Oscar award ceremony. And today we're gonna to be presenting the most important award of them all, biggest douchebag this side of the Mississippi. Now, before I present this award, I'd like to give some honorable mentions to our runner ups who were just etched out by the winner here. It's names such as George Santos, leader of Hamas, Andrew Tate, and that neighbor from the Turner family, Dinkelberg. But give it up for your winner, Adam. Ch Wait, that's me. And we're back, people. Welcome to another episode of Chat and Charlie. A little bit late on this one, but better late than never is what I always say. Oh yeah. Anywho, uh, you guys know me, your one and only host with the most, but here we've got a returning member and a new face, so fellas, introduce yourselves. Um, Big Russian, Andre. Alex Charney. That's my little one right there, not my son. Not yet. <laughs> little bro, but um, yes, sir. that's little bro, and uh, he's very much an extension of my own, so you guys are in for a treat today. Uh, on this episode, as you can tell, we're all a little Dapper Dan today. And um, as you can also probably guess, that's in honor of the new Oscar ceremony that just happened this oh, weekend. Yeah. Uh, did you guys have a chance to catch it? I did not, I did not, unfortunately. I've, I've seen some parts. Yeah, nobody watches the Oscars anymore, people. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of a dead, uh, a dead thing. I was gonna say dead religion, but I mean, it's a religion to those people, right? Those yeah. actors, that's like what they work their whole life for. Yeah. Fucking imagine fucking working your whole life to get propped up in front of like the world. They're like kind of like a like a little show dogs. Yeah. Oh yeah, back in like um like Roman times, they used to call actors like the fucking scum of the earth, you know. Mm -hmm. And and looking at them now, you can see why they call them. <laughs> yeah. They're some of the worst people. Oh, right? yeah. You hear the yeah. stories of freaking. Harvey Weinstein making girls blow him for a part in a movie. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. The goat. The <laughs> comedy <laughs> legend. <laughs> she get the food and put the food in the drink and the comedy. Oh, we can't. Yeah, I mean. Fucking Bill. But, um, you ever watch his show growing up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's the Cosby show. That show is huge. From it. That show is huge. He's in the fucking 80s. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking. Uh, for a quick rundown of the Oscars, because it's only right we go over and we're not just going to milk off of them so we can dress nice. Um, you know, the most important thing, the reason everyone watches Best Actor was Killian Murphy. You know who that is? Yeah, that we go to. Yeah, for bro, Oppenheimer. Like, he played in Oppenheimer. He did all um, that British show, right? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. peaky fucking blinder. Yeah, he's Thomas blinder. Shelby. Thomas Shelby. Courtesy of the peaky fucking blinders. <laughs> That was some hard shit. Imagine living in the 1920s in fucking mobster England, like driving the first ever Rolls Royces and fucking <laughs> oh, yeah. cocaine's just free everywhere. Fucking, you can kill people and get away with it. Oh healthy. yeah, it was it was like the beginning of it, kind of. It was like this new new thing. They're giving it to babies. It was good times. Yeah, and one of, in the show, one of the characters gets like addicted to it, and and it's bad. But, so I guess it wasn't that healthy. Mm -hmm. But freaking, it was just such a different time. There was no cameras, no internet. People can't track back anything you've done. Yeah. You could really live the way you wanted. There was like no records of anything too. No. It's crazy. Yeah. And fucking, that's why that's why you hear all those stories of the big mafia families and all that shit only back then. Now yeah. that, that shit ain't gonna fly. It's impossible. Man. It's impossible. They got cameras everywhere, tracking your every fucking text message. Yeah. Shitty times we live in. <laughs> Big but, brother watching this, man. Big yeah. brother. You know, in high school, I was telling coworkers about this today. I fucking, one of the, uh, I was in debate for four years. Me too. But huge nerd reveal, him too. Like I said, uh, one of my own. But um, I had to go, I went, I won a national, turn, I got second, but if you were <laughs> top three, you won, technically. Yeah. But uh, sure. I got a trophy. And one of the topics I had to debate was the Patriot Act, fucking, and everyone was on the opposite side. They're like, man, privacy, and I don't want the government reading my text yeah. messages. I was like, so y'all cool with people just fucking getting annihilated in mass numbers, like 9-11 part two, three, four, and five? But, um, you know, I won that okay, one, bro. <laughs> I'd rather the government not see my fucking text messages, bro. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But what if like it's your daughter one day or fucking and fuck it, bro. My daughter was fucking meant to die, bro. <laughs> Holy That's shit. true. Huh? Everyone got their time. I think it's a necessary evil, yeah. You're right though, you can't cheat God. Yeah, that is true. Like no matter how much they spy on you, if you're crossing the street and get hit by a hog die, there's nothing stopping that. Again, yeah. real philosophical early on in the episode, but back to the Oscars. So, Killian Murphy, best actor for his lead role in the Oppenheimer movie, which I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen it yeah. None of us have seen it, but we can tell it's a great film. Yeah. Uh, it's directed by Christopher Nolan. I like the cool Did Batman. Exactly. He did Batman. He did the greatest movie of all time, fucking The Batman. Dark Knight, and all the, the entire series, but. Um, they swept the fucking, they swept the floor. They won like best picture, best cinematography, yeah. best actor, I think something else, but it's not coming Best to supporting me right. actor. Huh? Best supporting actor, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. How's that for a change? Really? Fucking so Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he was a barely in it. Iron Man won best supporting fucking That's actor. Crazy. That's badass. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't Robert Downey Jr. like before Marvel he was like in prison and all that? Yeah, yeah. he was like addicted yeah. to coke and shit. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel actually so made a joke about it during his monologue. He like literally the opening he was like, Robert, nice to see you here. You're looking a lot better and like started going over his, his past and he was like, <laughs> Yo, that's pretty cool. I thought that shit got way too PC and commercial, but that was pretty fucking cool. That's funny. Yeah. He was with some hottie. What? So Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Is Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, he's Robert well, of Downey course, Jr. but I feel it's like Iron Man. I feel yeah, like at that point you only take like a girl you're serious about to the Oscars because you're, you're right. He's Robert Downey Jr. You can get a hot chick whenever. Bro, I'll take any girl to the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> you sure well, you if you were to win an Oscar, what would you win it for? What would I win it for? Well, I mean, I would have to be an actor, right? <laughs> Yeah. Um, probably, um, you could win best um, best music though. No. Like Billy Eilish won. That's the only award fucking Barbie won. I was gonna say. I'm glad we live in a generation where real movies are being recognized and actual detailed directing and cinematography instead of fucking Nicki Minaj and Billy Eilish soundtracks and a bunch of pink fucking cool cars that made the TikTok girls just explode. But. Um, they did win best uh, song, best new original song for the soundtrack. Okay. Some Billie Eilish song. Um, best actress, because we love women, uh, was Emma Stone. You know who that is? Yeah, she was on La La Land. She was in yeah, Spider Man. She was in La La Land. She was she's, La La Land. She's girl. fucking. She's the main she's girl. Gwenda, no, in Spider Man, she's Gwen. Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy. She dies. R.I.P. Um, she was bad in La La Land. <laughs> I've never seen it. Is everyone it loves La La Land. I know, everyone talks bro, about every it. Time, every time I went to Hoover, I put on La La Land, bro, they love that I shit. I couldn't get into it, bro. They started with like a bunch of people dancing in the yeah. highway and shit. That shit gets me shirt so, every time. Bro. That shit was so good. Were they like <laughs> dancing a lot? No, it was just like a bunch of people in traffic in the highway, and then they all just get out and start <laughs> dancing and shit. Oh, that's what I do whenever the bridge is up in Bay Harbor. <laughs> when, it's, when it's up and we're all stopped there, I get out and I start playing music through my car, and I'm like, Everybody, and then people hop out and they're like, "Rock your body." <laughs> uh, only when I'm on acid. But yeah, driving on acid is crazy, dude. If you're ever driving on acid, a wise man once told me, when you're seeing multiple lanes, just pick one. That, that's some education for the kids. Yeah. What, what do you think's worse, like getting in the car off acid and driving, or that shit kicks in while you're driving on the highway? Oof. Probably kicks in midway. Yeah, because no. you're, it's just like a surprise attack. That shit was crazy. <laughs> that happened to me kind of on like shrooms. It just kicked in, in while you were driving. Yeah. Like we were looking so for a parking is, space. <laughs> so what does that change actually look like? You're bro, like, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, and then you I'm start feeling wild. I'm like, bro, why the fuck all the lights <laughs> fucking this long? The trail for that <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah, because the light has like a, a lingering resin. You should yeah, fucking yeah. bounce <laughs> the, tra the tracer trail. Yeah, yeah the tracer trail. Yeah, oh, that shit was real. Where, what time was it for both of you guys? It was like at night. It was at like late night. Late at night, thank God. But I was yeah. just looking for a parking spot. It wasn't that irresponsible. Like okay, so there were cars out there. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. And, um, 
Do you think maybe you hit somebody and you just didn't realize? Nah, I would have realized that. <laughs> nah, you seen the Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. You know that one scene nah, where he takes the Lambo to go call his yeah. boy at the hotel? That boy then, popped. What, what's, what those Quay 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 bro. Just, bro, I would have popped. Some expired Quaaludes. Bro, what's crazy is there's one place in the world that still has South them. Africa. Yep, I saw a documentary. It's, a, it's an epidemic. But yeah, they have like a huge quaalude problem in South Africa. That's South Africa. They, they like put that shit in like bom in bowls and shit and smoke it. Right. It's crazy. Not just bowls. They do it the most ratchet way you could think of. Like imagine they put a beer can in, oh. shattered in half, like what you fucking kill someone with in a bar fight, and you. Like he said, you put tobacco in the bottom, a little bit of weed to pat it on top, and then put the powder on top of all that. Because if you just put the powder, that shit gonna burn right through. Mm -hmm. So you get all that fucking added like filterage, and then you just, from the bottom of the beer bottle, we'll or smoke that shit, yeah. and when you exhale, the motherfuckers lean back, like yeah, they yeah. pass out. I would have put them boys onto the foil in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking loons off of tin foil? That's nuts. That's what I call chasing the dragon. <laughs> chasing something else. Speaking of chasing the dragon, you know, that, uh, that never ends. Chasing the dragon is, uh, it's a crazy concept, because... I forgot what movie I was watching. It was one movie where like, I think Leonardo DiCaprio's like constantly getting high. It might be in Django. Nah. It was probably Wolf of Wall Street. No. It's like one where he's smoking like opium or some shit. And fucking, he probably just keeps Wolf. buying more Django. and more. And fucking, and uh, I don't know. It just, that's that journey is like, it's such a renowned philosophical thing because you really, once your body gets used to a taste of that, like you, you never stop unless yeah. something tragic happens or like something really puts you in check. So, you know, I wish fucking, I never even tried the things I tried. So for anyone who hasn't tried something and is thinking about trying it, don't do it. Don't even try it. It resets your mind, bro. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel it. Cause once you have it, you, you, you know that you can have it. Exactly. And then your mind recognizes that and you want it more. Exactly. So just don't try it, bro. Just yeah, watch, it, watch a YouTube video. video. Mm -hmm. I remember it's, I was a little kid, I used to watch like, how, how does this drug feel? And it's like a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> that one filter. bald guy who tried all the drugs. <laughs> the bald dude, bro. He's yeah. coded, bro. He's tried like every drug yeah, out of yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Should look at me one of drugs So maybe it's kind of counterproductive. <laughs> but also fucking, it's like you said, it forms a new connection in your brain and you're like, this now exists. It's like, I would try to explain it to people when they've asked me like, yo, how have you not had sex yet? How are you waiting until marriage? And I'm like, I'm like, well, you know, since I've never had sex, I don't know how good it is. And, you know, I picture it in my head, it's probably amazing, but at the same time, I'm willing to wait because I don't know what I'm missing. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait till marriage. Indeed, but, celibacy is key. Yeah, virginity rocks. Who's that YouTuber that? That guy's a pedophile. That? He's a pedophile. Yeah, like what, twenty. Danny Duncan. Yeah. Right? He, a, he a pedophile. I seen like twenty allegations came out. It was crazy. How is he? Is he like a like a nine year old pedophile? Or like a nah, sixteen like, year old pedophile? Big difference. Like not nah, big difference. Like, like thirteen. Big difference. That's like that's. Now, but like 13 when you're like 25. Yeah, 13, I look you fall That's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's <laughs> also That's yeah. disgusting. That's yeah. like, how do you even turn on by that shit? Yeah. It's literally a jit. A fucking kid. Crazy. I crazy. guess maybe it's the power concept or something, but. But he's um, already famous and rich. He already has that power concept to anything. Yeah, but the Pope does it. Yeah, that's true. So, and he's the fucking. I think they're just born weird. They're just born weird. You think it's a genetic thing? Um, genetic mixed with, like, if you're, like, thinking about it and then you go on the internet and start, like, getting into that, that's all you're gonna, you know what mm. I mean? It's like you're feeding into your own gotcha, genetic shit. Gotcha, It's like, so, so, like yeah, it's like there's a little bit of, of that in you and then you feed it and that bloodlust grows and you want to just actually and do it. Like, yeah. That's nuts. I saw a video of this, this homosexual guy who was in a grocery store 
and he's like talking about his experience that he's standing behind someone in line and the, this person is just going through Instagrams of fucking like 12, 11 year olds That's crazy. and like zooming in on certain parts, like really staring at it. So weird. And he so let it go crazy. for a while and then he asked the dude, he's like, yo, what are you doing? And the guy like fumbling. starts fumbling. He's I'm like, not, oh, not nothing, not mind your own business. Just in like the store? Just in the store. No shame, bro. I would have hit that boy with some hard shit, bro. I would have hit him now, in the back of the head. Now, <laughs> this is the question I want to ask you guys. Fucking what he ends up doing is taking a little video of the guy doing that before he confronted him. And then after he confronted him, found the, the car that he was in, took a pic of his license plate, and sent all that to the police. My question to you guys is, if you saw someone doing that, like were you just looking at pictures of a 12, 13 year old or something, what would you do? I, I'd say the way he did it is probably like the most, like the best way to go about it to get him like actually punished. But like in the moment, I don't know if I'd be able to have that restraint. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like I want. You know what I would do, bro? You, you ever see, you saw that video on Instagram where it's, it was like the same thing, it was like this pedophile in New York, and that boy's like tied up on a light pole, all duct taped and shit. <laughs> I did see and that. And just yeah. slapping the fuck out of his ass. Oh my that's, God. That's what I would do. <laughs> now, that's what I, believe that's, that's, I believe that's justice, especially because I'm pretty sure if that guy, they knew stories of shit he'd yeah. done. But what if like, you don't know <coughs> the facts. What if that guy was, uh, looking at like pictures of his grandchild or just like like the his brother's son like his nephew or something fucking bro wrong place wrong time so you're looking at your grandchildren in public bro fuck so, it. so you're sending it regardless fuck it. i got you yeah. hey you see something say something yeah. but at the same time you know i was raised in a very traditional arab household not very traditional but as traditional as it gets in the u.s where like they always tell me growing up like mind your own business yeah you feel me like like if the neighbors were arguing or like i felt like the kid was getting like screamed at unreasonably or something i'd be like yo dad like why are they doing that that's mean and he'd be like mind your own business because like you know that's their family stuff yeah. that's how they handle business and like obviously that pedophile shit's fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Like those people deserve to burn in hell forever and be buried under the prison. But fucking, at the same time, I feel like people are too caught up in everyone's business. Like not even in that sense, you know, you probably did the right thing, but like everyone's always like wondering what people are doing and shit. That's like, true, the, the main Trying to get thing. involved, like telling kids in grocery stores, like parents of kids that are yelling at their kid like, like, hey, you shouldn't do that. I would smack some motherfuckers who yeah, told me how to talk Never tell someone how to raise their kids. Yeah. Like, and what I don't like is like, um, like parents trying to get into like families, telling kids at school, like, like changing their mindset, and then they get home, and the parents are like, what the fuck happened to my yeah. kid? They yeah. question their own family. Yeah. They're like, Dad, you lied to us. Like, there's no boys or girls. Yeah. Like, imagine having that conversation yeah. with a nine-year-old. Yeah. Who still believes in Superman and Santa? Like yeah. that shit's ridiculous. Which actually segues us into our next point pretty well. Um, we were gonna talk about the transsexuals before the age of consent, before adulthood. Like parents hearing their kids say, "Oh, I want to be a princess," and just giving the green light, like, "Oh yeah, do it. Chop my son's cock off." Fucking shoot him up with estrogen, and hopefully in five years he doesn't kill himself. Bro, when I was when I was in <laughs> elementary school, I wanted to be an architect because I played Minecraft. <laughs> Come on, bro. You feel me? That's a great point. That's, That's a great point. Listen to kids. But I think he'd be a great architect, right? <laughs> I don't know math for sure. Bro. I don't know my multiplication table, bitch. Bro, as a kid, <laughs> as a kid, I wanted to be Spider Man, bro. There's <laughs> countless pictures of me in Spider Man suits. And, you know, Spider-Man's a vigilante. He'd go to jail yeah. if they could catch his ass. But fucking, you know, he's out there stopping villains, but destroying half the city while doing it, you know? Yeah. Like, at the end of the day... Raising property taxes. Raising property taxes. Ridiculous, man. Fucking spider. Luckily, I specialize in tax evasion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... No, I'm not pulling a Wesley Snipes <laughs> or a, like the situation. the situation. Hey, 
These abs are rock hard, baby, and that's just the situation. Yeah, yeah. boy. <laughs> but enough Jersey Shore references. I was just gonna say, kids don't know what the hell is going on. They don't know what they really want. And I think most parents, for the most part, know that. But I just kind of feel bad for the parents that bend to their every whim. Like, you know those parents who like, the kids like love their dads? Like, Growing up, I was scared of my dad. That's how it should be. Like, Straight you up. shouldn't, you shouldn't like, like have your dad be one of your best friends. Like, you should I mean, respect him with some fear. Exactly. I don't think you should. I don't think you should fear him. You should definitely respect him. That's for sure. But like I, respect I him enough to get same. like yeah, to like, not want to fuck with him. Of course. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they're one in the same because there's never been. A ruler ever in history that ruled through pure love and admiration. It I mean, doesn't yeah. exist. But Not, I feel like I feel like for Colts. I feel like yeah. you could um, <laughs> you could have cool. people <laughs> respect you and not fear you either. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like they could like, like an they, example. Like an example. I mean, yeah, look. I don't uh, think, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of it too. Because yeah. I like playing both sides. I, I know the truth usually lies somewhere in the middle, but I can't think of someone that you genuinely respect that there isn't res a sense of fear. Yeah. It's yeah. like a fear of disrespect. Not, like, not really fearing like, the person, it's but fear like of fearing, disrespecting. Yeah, yeah, just like, I don't want you feel me, I just respect them. I exactly, respect but them. anyone that you don't mind disrespecting, it's because you have no fear of how they'll react. How they'll feel about you. yeah it's you not really me? it's not really fear for yeah, yourself it's just like fear it's a different like i respect fear, yeah. my mom it's mm -hmm. not like i'm scared of my mom exactly. of course yeah. but like i would never like disrespect yeah exactly. so. it's the same way like like our friendship right i respect the hell out of you and it's not like i'm scared of you to like beat me up yeah. but i'm scared of you thinking i'm i'm like lame or or, yeah. or like conniving snaky That's like true, yeah. evil like so in that sense i'm kind of scared to lose your respect so it's kind of yeah and the same for my brother like he's my younger brother and like everyone knows the story of younger brothers like very little bitch like he beat your ass <laughs> fucking all oh, that shit me which years. did happen <laughs> i can still kick his ass don't let this huge figure fool you but it's um, not true. all right buddy you want to go take wrestling yeah and i learned in the streets <laughs> homie <No. laughs> but um like same with my little brother i wouldn't i wouldn't fucking be a despicable to him or like let him see me be a, a piece of shit elsewhere because i want him to still look up to me so i guess it's it's kind of a little bit of fear but not fear of like them hurting you or something like that. Yeah. Just fear of losing their respect. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Now back to these trans kids. I think you kind of <laughs> cleared the point on yeah. that. I, really um, want, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just, just want to bring up, I just want to bring up this statistic. I don't know the exact amount. I'm not going to be one of those blurred out a number and like you fact check me later and you're like, dude, are you retarded? Um, but I know it's a pretty high amount of percentage of kids that go through that surgery. Like whether they go boy to girl, girl and they to boy, they revert. and they they either revert or they're s clinically like depressed. cripplingly depressed, yeah, and, depressed. Them, and a lot of them do. Same with the porn industry. Y'all been seeing that stuff? Oh yeah, like, a lot of porn stars been dying, bro. Girl, ever since August Ames, she started the fucking trend. Yeah. I don't watch porn since August Ames killed herself out of respect. <laughs> but fucking <laughs> seriously, it's like. And they're the ones that show out the most, right? That they love their life. They're on jet skis, like, like they're a bad <coughs> bitch. A they love doing it. It's a cope. The thing is, like, religion, like, even if you don't believe in God, bro, just living through, like, the way that the Bible teaches you to live. Virtuously. Just living virtuously, just, like, you know, makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all the like porn stars, person. they get fucked every day. They live in life fucking sinful as fuck. Nah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, you can't it get, eats, it's, you eat yeah, at them every it, day. It, and so it eats at your soul, bro. You can't be true. That's why happy. they do all that shit, to try to, like, yeah. make themselves seem you happy. You can be temporarily happy while you're getting fucked from the back. But you go have to go to sleep at night, bro, and think about what the fuck you did. Bro. And yeah. then no one loves you. And you gotta think about like gonna you're gonna have kids. Husband. How are you gonna raise a kid in this world while you're a porn star? 
Bro, there's gonna be a new generation of kids with like a bunch of porn star moms. You think about and that. with how deep the internet is and what we were talking about, all these kids will find it. Yeah, They'll all find it. Or if they, they don't find it, their friends are gonna find it. That's show what I'm talking them. about. All it's gonna, they're gonna see their parents, or crazy. just their yeah, it's fucking. Or not even their parents, which makes it worse. The mom was some, you know. Big Brolic, big Brolic model. <laughs> and, uh... No kids fucked by three black dicks. It's funny. Fuck. Everything in the world gets PC except for porn. That's like, crazy. no matter what porn we're going to it will be like, three giant black cocks decimate petite Asian chink girl. Like, <laughs> and I love Asians. You know? That's but, crazy, bro. But, 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 that's something that'll never change, baby. And that's because, um... They know it's true, deep yeah. down. Because when, like I said, I don't do it anymore. I really don't. I think you know it kind of voids yourself of like, like um, like a part of your life force. Like you won't go out and chase everything you want to achieve yeah. if you're fucking convincing yourself that you're fulfilling humanity's ultimate task every day in your bathroom at two in the morning. Like, ugh. but back, I gotta get some coochie. That too. Go out and get the real thing. I'm still waiting till marriage, but <laughs> definitely go out and get the real thing. It's 10 times better from uh, what I've heard. If you can achieve it. If you can achieve it. And you know what definitely doesn't help you achieve it? Not thinking you can achieve it. That and- if you don't believe it. And you don't believe it. And you're just busting nuts every day. Type shit. Ridding yourself. You'll have less of an urge chase, to go yep, chase yep. The, the dunk. But, um, I do want to say that does remind me of one thing with the Oscars again. Uh, best actress, I know I, we said Emma Stone, but she won it for the a movie called Poor Things. Yeah, that sounds about right. Something I haven't like seen that, it either. Like that. Uh, these movies are all fucking long as hell. And they're all like kind of fucking boring now, bro. I'm down for the boring and great picture, but I need to have the time to just sit there and do it. And I've been so busy, but I'm gonna watch Oppenheimer and Poor Things. One day. One day. And uh, you know why that movie won, right? Because Emma Stone was getting fucking naked. She got railed. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that kind of funny that like, all, they say it all the time, but all these people in Hollywood sell their souls. Like, it's a metaphor. Obviously, these people aren't going to Satan himself and being like, hey, Lucifer, let me get one of them contracts you've been handing out. Whoop, here you go. Yeah. I'm with you now. But it's a metaphor, because, like, she's a great actress. We named a bunch of movies she was in. I, I think that's her first Oscar, which, if it wasn't, it would destroy my entire point. But, you know, it was in a movie where she was on camera naked for the world to see, getting getting uh, fornicated What's the movie called? <laughs> Poor things. <laughs> but, um... I do watch that movie. <laughs> same thing with, like, like, um... You know this movie, they brought it up at work today because we were talking about country shit. You ever heard of Brokeback Mountain? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I never I, watched it. Before. I didn't. I, would never watch I started it. watching it not knowing what it was, and then they just started fucking each other. It was crazy. And I think that was it was Heath Ledger and, and, and they were Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. No, no, it wasn't Ryan Gosling. It, is it was Ryan the dude Gosling. from South Park. It's Ryan Gosling. That's not Ryan Gosling. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. It's Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. They call. Good call. Yep. That's a, that's a very fitting title. Very, very <laughs> fitting. Mountain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy movie, crazy. But like, you know, y'all you, seen that one Cat Williams interview that set off the whole world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talks about it. He's like, Harvey Weinstein was trying to cast me for um, <laughs> Friday After Next, Cat oh, Williams. Oh, I thought you were going to say Brokeback Mountain. I was going to say no, dying no. laughing. Bro. Friday After so Next, that, that first like big pop and yeah, yeah. movie he was yeah. in. With yeah, yeah, with Ice Cube. With Ice Cube and I think Ricky Friday, Smiley. Friday, Friday Ricky After Next. Smiley. Ricky Smiley. Friday After Next, that's the one where they're like in the, in the suburbs. Yeah. 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 And he says originally they were trying to get him to wear a dress for it. Harvey Weinstein literally asked him, he was like, can I suck your dick? What? Like, first off, I feel like it wasn't proposed that way. I feel like Cat Williams is changing shit a little bit because who fucking goes to guys like, I'll let you get in this movie if you let me suck your dick. You'd be surprised, bro. 
Bro, really? Like people are, are like, like that? that? Bro, I remember when I was trapping, bro, there's this one gay custom, bro. Oh my god. That boy's like, bro, I'll give you $100 if I can suck your dick. I'm like, bro, what the fuck type of time are you on? Damn. Because at the end of the day, they're men and they're horny. But it's like, men go it's like the I, shot. Never, yeah, I never yeah. pay a girl to eat her out. Yeah, I mean, I That's like doing them a favor. The thing is, there's guys that do, though. Maybe you're right. There are guys that just that. love yeah. eating pussy. Or there are guys that pay. Oh, there's guys that fucking pay for topic. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what am I fucking? fucking <laughs> this is the difference in our generations right here, bro. <laughs> the thing is, that's the older generation that pays for that shit, bro. You don't see no younger guys doing that. Yeah, they get it for free. You're right. It's like all the I think you'd be moments. surprised. I feel like. No, I feel like you're right about that, but then it's all the kids your guys' ages subscribing to all the OnlyFans. Like buying all these girls as OnlyFans. I don't know anyone that that, has, that bar only ones. The thing is, what they tell you, yeah, you they feel, probably wouldn't. They, 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 they'd be mad low key about like, what's it. The who's gonna, who's gonna, yeah, that's know. what I'm saying. That's crazy. I don't know. People are fucking ridiculous. Like, like there's porn for free. Bro. It's no. like parasocial shit. They see the bitch and they like fall in love or some shit like that. And they're like, oh, I have to see this bitch naked. I'd be you fucking naked. Fall in love. Maybe. It's like crazy, bro. Like, you think you could ever have regular sex with an OnlyFans girl? Which be right I did no. Like if you, <laughs> no, no, not you wanting to. Like oh. she let it happen. Like if you texted her, just like you slid in charismatic as hell. You were like, let me take you out for a drink. Like all that shit. Think she'd ever just let things Bro, she go their own way. Well, I get you. I get you. But do you think she'd she let, let it happen it? if you go? Yeah, out she's you. still a girl. She'll make money for me. She sauce it up, she's still a girl, she's still a girl. Um, you not, don't think that part of her brain On what? Like, on what? On OnlyFans? Like if nah, she knows just you, have regular sex. Like, just like talk to her normally like on Instagram and yeah. hit her up. Yeah, I mean, probably, she's still a girl. Maybe like her mind the is thing becomes is, so perverse is, with it, she doesn't even She's probably like been sex. hit up by like a minute, but so is every girl. The thing is, uh, about OnlyFans girls, it's not like they're porn stars. They don't just get getting fucked every day. No, they true. probably get fucked by their boyfriend and just post it. Like porn yes. stars are broken, yeah. probably. Porn yeah. stars are fucking desensitized. To That's what I was yeah. trying to get to. Yeah. Like, does the sauce game even work on them? Like, they just want to see bills. Yeah. Ebra, I met I bet a Bella Danger before. Ooh. You better. Yeah. Did you guys hit it off? I was I was like 15 years old. <laughs> I tried, just, tried, just, but just her. <coughs> I tried, but I tried to tell her to go upstairs, like the other time. Right? She was nice. Like, At 15, that's pretty yeah. fucking ballsy, bro. That's ballsy. Her she was so place. bad, bro. She like at the. I mean, you already saw her naked, so. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> Makes it easy. I was 18, but she didn't believe me. Not for a second. Not for a second. But fucking. Anyways, that pretty much does the Oscars. Um, we talked about trans before adulthood. Let's talk about something more political, something stigmatizing. Let's talk about the State of the Union address, which I'm sure most of you haven't watched because kids all age. Yo, I, look, 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 I get where you're coming from, but honestly, I think he looked kind of good for, for the comparison of, of most of the time. Look, I'm not a Biden guy at all. You guys probably know that by now, but like the corpse was walking that day. Fucking, they, you Sleepy ever heard of this up. thing called the Lazarus drug? For not the Lazarus pit. Well, it's it's a replication of that. It's basically something the government has concocted. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, not none of this is proven, but it's pretty proven. Um, where they can they can for a short period of time bring you back to like being younger and sharp and shit. It's like the top of the top shit they got out there. It's um you ever heard of you ever heard of hold on it'll come to me. Fucking with Joe Biden popped like three Adderalls before that shit. Nah, he popped that Lazarus drug mixed with mixed with damn like it's not coming to me right now. So He's thinking of it asymmetrically. <laughs> it's which is Tylenol. No, there's there's a drug made out of baby's blood. What? It's literally a proven thing. Look it up real quick, because it's going to kill me. One of you. But they probably gave him some of the Lazarus drug, some of that shit. Some of the baby blood. Some baby blood. Fucking did a few satanic rituals. <coughs> and, dude, he was up there. He was sharp. He was like... He was like, my predecessor, he fumbled his words a few times. I want to say he was sharp. He was contradicting himself. Oh, a ton. But that that's... 
That's, that's what happened that's, in almost any that's COVID just outbreak. Show they, Biden. Yeah, that mainly Joe, but like I feel like they just they think of what sounds like exactly what the country wants to hear, and they just say that. Yeah, and that's all politics is. Well, let me see. Is it this one? Yes, adrenochrome. That's what it is. Any of you uh, conspiracy wazoo's will know exactly what I'm talking about. But he took some adrenochrome, some Lazarus drug, and up until pretty much the part where uh, where this one girl dressed in all MAGA stuff started yelling at him about Lincoln Riley, that's her name, Lincoln Riley, um, a young girl that was murdered uh, by an illegal immigrant uh, right before the State of the Union address. So she's in her full MAGA, she's like, say her name, Lincoln Riley, say her name. And he's like, he stops the whole thing and he's like, he fumbles through a bunch of stuff and he finds a pin with her name on it. He's like, Lincoln Riley. And he starts talking about how she was, he's like, was murdered by an illegal. And I kind of like this new Joe Biden using fucking cue cards and little fun knickknacks and gadgets. Like, don't you love a president that needs visual aids to be able to remember like no, what he's talking about? I don't know president. You don't think that's an know. awesome state of the country we're in? Yeah, he's, he's up there fumbling his words. And so Joe Biden, as soon as he got out to the State of the Union address, he like said that he compared the times right now to mm -hmm. like fucking World War Two. Mm -hmm. like, oh, he was like, he's about. like on a domestic <coughs> and a foreign level. We're in the biggest disarray we've Since ever been. And uh, what's what's his name? But that's what they what's say. The yeah, polio, what's the polio man? The polio man, Theodore Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt. No, I think it was I think it was Theodore he talked about. I think he brought up Theodore. Yes, yeah, so the the president while well, it was um World War Two. I forgot what his name was. That was free. No, it was fucking. Damn, I look stupid right now. I, I just thought I boy got polio. He was he was riding in the wheelchair and shit. That's there. Franklin D. Roosevelt. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, Franklin W. Roosevelt. FDR. F yeah. That sounds more right. It probably I remember was he was in a wheelchair in his later. I just know he brought up Theodore Roosevelt during the parts I was watching, so that's why it's it's in my brain. But you're right, it is FDR. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, FDR. FDR, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, like he's comparing what he's doing now to what FDR had to deal with. Crazy. He's, he's like, as soon as I stepped in office. There was a mass global pandemic on my hands, and it's like, motherfucker, a pandemic you created, fucking, so that they could push big pharma. And he's talking about how he's destroying big pharma, but like you said, hypocrisy. Meanwhile, he's pushing them, Pfizer vaccines, pushing fucking uh, mandatory like insulin shots for people with diabetes, which like. In theory, it makes sense you want people with diabetes to take their medicine, but to make it mandatory means now they have to pay the big pharma. Yeah. It's, it's a crucial, distinct difference. But mm -hmm. what else highlighted from the State of the Union? Oh, you got something? You talked about um, like Palestine and all that, bro. Like Joe, bro, Joe Biden, like, what are you doing, bro? If you're watching, Joe Biden, if you're watching this, bro, tie it up, bro. Like, come on, dog. Get your shit together. Like, stop playing both sides, bro. Are you going to support an ally or are you going to support terrorists, bro? Come on. Tell your son to get off the meth. Yeah, straight up. That's how would have put me on. <laughs> but what what did what did he what did he say about Palestine? Like, bro, you're just trying to play both sides. You feel me? He's he's trying to pander to like the left and to the right. You know, like he's weird. Spine. He, he also he also like believes like the fucking um like the numbers like that that Hamas releases uh -huh. like all the casualties uh -huh. the building in Surfside that collapsed it took them two weeks to find out how many people died there yeah so how is Hamas knowing exactly how many people died every single day the, the same exact COVID. COVID. remember yeah. they had yeah. a fucking death count for and it. for the death counts in in uh Palestine Hamas is releasing they don't add up like it's like women and children like the numbers don't make sense They're supposed to be together, but then it's like more children die more like it's like like the numbers don't mm. make sense Mathematically, it doesn't yeah, check out just fucking throwing shit at the wall hoping it sticks and the fucking liberals are eating that shit You feel me? Mm. Love that shit. Yeah, I'm because two girls they, they just see big Yep, just like two girls <laughs> one That should have won a fucking Oscar <laughs> But no, you're right. It's um 
it's pandering, it's headlining, it's headline signaling. It's just like, oh, Joe Biden said he's gonna get justice for the three billion Palestinians that were killed. Woo hoo! It's like, wait, yeah. there's seven billion people on Earth. Three billion of them live in Palestine, but. It's, it's there's, there's a lot of people in Palestine, and also Joe Biden says that like Israel is carpet bombing fucking Palestine. When in reality, bro, do they even have the tools for nah, that? They do. They do. <laughs> the thing is, in each in like Gaza, bro, there's like I don't want to say like there's at least like over like half a million people there, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. If they was getting fucking carpet bombs, there would not be thirty thousand casualties. There'd be hundreds of thousands. Yeah, because yeah. they're in fucking wooden sheds. It's not like yeah. like anyone surviving a carpet bombing yeah. if they did it. Yeah. There, they would swipe wipe out at least yeah. like half. Yeah. yeah. But, and Joe Biden loves to say it's um like for Ukraine, it's it's uh, a fucking dictatorship trying to take over a oh, democracy, yeah. right? Oh yeah. But now he's he's trying to say that. And, and what, what's the Israel president name? And Ganu and Gap, whatever his name is, you mm -hmm. feel me? He's, you guys know who. He's trying to say that, like, you feel me? He's he's doing the wrong things and he's supporting Palestine instead. So now he's trying to support terrorists instead of democracy. Yeah. yeah. He's trying yeah. to play both sides. In whatever. either case, it, it doesn't look like they're that Joe Biden's uh, shooting for a ceasefire yeah. or, or a truce. Or negotiations of any nature he doubled down at the state of the union he was calling putin a dictator and like putin just went on tucker carlson trying to fucking clear up shit and like you know a crazy dictator doesn't do shit like that he doesn't care how he's perceived he's gonna keep on dictating and just yeah. like have russia behind his back and just like oh they hate us fuck them yeah. oh ukraine that's ours you know, we don't need to prove it's ours to anybody, but mm -hmm. he wants to be diplomatic about it. He's trying to plead his case. Yeah. So, and I, I also read that that the the invasion didn't even start until fourteen thousand Ukrainians were killed first in um, in Crimea. That was like I forgot what it was, why the um, NATO was in there, but fucking like native Russian speaking Ukrainian, mm -hmm. so like Russians, mm -hmm. um, they were being killed in Ukraine, maybe there, by there was, there was, there was a coup. basically it was, was like, a there was a, like a vote, a there was a There's vote a for like Ukraine, so, for Crimea to leave Ukraine, and they like, the Ukrainians say that Russia, you feel me, fuck with the Poles, but mm. like realistically, if you look at the de demographics of the area, all the people living in Crimea are Russian. Yeah, they're so, ethnically Russian. You feel me? So the I feel like the vote was was genuine. You mm -hmm. feel me? So then it was like these fucking like Nazis and there's like a lot of fascists in Ukraine. Oh yeah. You heard oh, about yeah. that? It's like fucking Nazis. They yeah. Nazis. They brought one of them to New York to speak yeah. at a public fucking council. Man. Fucking bullshit. And um, they that's how the war started. Mm hmm. And you know he. Uh, Joe Biden addressed it at the State of the Union, but he was like, he was like, President um, President Bush uh, made a deal with Gorbachev mm -hmm. with the wall. Yeah. He was like, he was like, this wall needs to come down now. And like, you know, we went back on our word. We're the fucking assholes here. But mm -hmm. you know, he was like, the wall comes down now, and Gorbachev and agreed Iron to Kurt. it. And he was like, he was like, we'll let East and West Berlin and Germany unite. But as long as NATO promises not to go fucking not to step on our border, not to go not further to on our border, yeah. And as soon as he started withdrawing yeah. troops, the well, U.S. went in. And the the justification for NATO that they say is that that was the Soviet Union, now it's Russia. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I think it's okay. That's bullshit, bro. It's the same people. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. And then, not to mention fucking. Um, Sweden just got inducted into NATO. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice more more chocolate coming our way. Nice. Fucking beautiful. You, we we talked about this on the last podcast, but NATO, the whole thing's just a scam. Mm -hmm. Cause once you sign into NATO, like like we said on episode two, instantly you have to purchase all your weapons and yeah, you become American bitch. Exactly. And um, that doesn't sound like democracy to me. Forcing all these little countries to buy our shit. Let that sink in. Next hundred years, next two hundred years, I feel like there's not gonna be any democracies left, bro. 
Some shit's gonna happen, bro. It's the new world order, man. Oh, yeah. Illuminati. They were all at that Oscars meeting for sure, that fucking Academy Awards. The Oscars are fucked, bro. And then there's like in the, at the Oscars, I seem like these fucking these Jews, bro, denouncing Israel. Like, how are you gonna There were Jews denouncing Israel yeah, at the bro. Oscars? Uh, there was like this movie, there was like this movie that won an award about the Holocaust. And there was these Jews, like they, they came up and like the ones that were acting in it, right? And mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what they said, but they like along the lines of like, oh, we don't support Israel, you feel what they're doing is wrong and all that. And there's like a lot of like like and everyone was wearing like the pins, like oh. ceasefire now, you feel me? Because they want peace. You know, at the end of the day, peace but is the, the end. Goal. At the end of the day, if um America got attacked by uh, an independent Florida, right? And they just fucking just started killing civilians. Would they let uh, a ceasefire happen? I think that goes back to the Civil War, right? At the end of the day, they kept fighting it out till one side was like, all right, we give up. Like, it's happened before. So fight it out, bro. So, I mean, thing is, Israel throughout all of history they try to give Palestine so many chances for a two-state solution. Fair point. And every single they time they denied it. For them. Every single time uh, Palestine denied it. Every time Israel sends money to Palestine, the West sends money to Palestine, what do they do with it? Do they build roads? Do they build fucking parks for little kids? No, they build fucking missiles yeah. so they can launch a fucking <laughs> Iron Dome yeah. and fucking kill Jews. You yeah, know? yeah. Right. No, at the end of the day, to, to argue the other side, you're right. They fucking, throughout their whole existence, they, they've never caved to wanting yeah. wanting to meet in the middle. Like, um, what was I going to say? Fucking, I totally had something for this. With, uh, with, oh yeah, Hamas's slogan. Like, not yeah, saying from, Hamas from speaks the, for all Palestinians, but. From the river to the sea. Death to all Jews. Yeah, bro. They That's want, pretty clear cut. They don't want to see fire, but they want, <laughs> yeah. they, want all of, they want all of that shit, bro. Yeah. Crazy slogan. That is a kind of catchy. <laughs> kind of catchy. <laughs> from the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. But um, obviously terrible. And yeah. um, we don't affiliate ourselves with Hamas in any way, whichsoever. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like, um, cause I, I was talking to my boy the other day and we live in Miami and we don't really, like, we don't really understand this, but most of the Jewish population, it's in Miami and New York. Yeah. You know? So we're used to seeing Jews. Yeah. yeah. But all over America, like they don't see any Jews at all. So that's Bro, why all these, remember when we travel like, for Vivid? Yeah. In Atlanta, there aren't really too many, and Atlanta would probably be a little behind those in that list yeah like it's a big city but like virginia beach bro like no jews the main places that jews live in the world is south florida new york and israel and la in california and that's not like one of the main ones oh, they run but, Hollywood. but la yeah but it's, it's <laughs> not it's like there's a lot of jews in, in miami bro. no yeah uh, bro. i mean bro we've been to surfside we've been to 41st street they're on 41st Street right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally down the block, there's three temples, a Jewish yeah. school, a freaking, a Jewish only hospital. They won't treat yeah. you. can be outside with a gunshot wound. <laughs> like, oh, please help. They're like, all right, but is that a cross? Is your mother like, Jewish? Yes. They got like the Jewish yeah. ambulance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Hatzla. Yeah, the Hatzla. Yeah. The Hatzla. The Hatzla. But, um, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, um, I'm all for it because... It's not like it hurts us. Taxpayer dollars aren't going to that, you know? They built that shit on their own, which I respect. Yeah. But um, it's crazy. They have whole neighborhoods designated to them. Like, the mayor of Surfside, Shlomo Danzinger. Does it get more Jewish than Shlomo Danzinger? They have they own crazy Surfside. Name. That's crazy. I didn't and know that. I, I'm not saying I'm against it or anything. But the entire neighborhood gets cut off on Shabbat nights. Like, they have certain lights up for the people walking. It's orchestrated around their lifestyle. Bunch of kosher marts. And that's dope. Muslims can only strive. Walk. It's like Chinatown in New York for Jews. Yeah. yeah. Jewtown. Jewtown. There's got to be a better name than Jewtown. Um, Bar Mitzvahville. Bar Mitzvahville. Bar Mitzvahville. Bar Mitzvahville. Hollowville. 
Hollowville. Oh, Hollowood. Auschwitz. <laughs> Hollowood. That, that has a nice ring to it. Is that an original? <laughs> I think I've heard it somewhere before. <laughs> I can't be. I saw you, bro. Anywho, speaking of stuff that's never happened, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, um, but I was the Muslim watching. came out. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of which, happy first day of Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak. Oh, yeah. Allah Akbar. Um, yeah. My little bro fasted today. I bitched out. Um, I'm extremely ashamed. I truly am. Um, but I know if, if I fasted, by the way, Ramadan fasting is not like bitch made fasting. There's no eating. There's no water. There's no vaping. Fucking, I would have been off the rails at work. I'm there from fucking eight to six, taking calls all day. I would have killed somebody. Probably grabbed the phone neck and hit the guy to my fucking right or something. So I needed to eat to be on top of my duties because I paid the bills around here. And um, nonetheless, happy can Ramadan. Can you get like, if, if it's Ramadan, can you get like an IV fluid? Nah, it's cheating. Nah, system. I think you can't. Nah. But um, I used to actually fucking sometimes go play basketball with my friends when I was fasting. And like when they'd all go to drink water, I'd be dying. So I'd just put something in my mouth and like swish it around and then just spit it out. back out. Yeah. That's OD, bro. Well, I mean, bro. Even that feels like cheating, honestly. It does. But when you actually do it, man, it's revitalizing. You feel so in touch with, like... But you can you can eat and drink water, like, after the sunset. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's so from, like, 5 to 8. So yeah, like, from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. you can't eat. So if you wake up later than 5 a.m., from when you wake up at, like, 7, 8, you can't eat till dinner. Which, you know, it's fun because at the end of the day, you come home, there's a big fucking feast laid out, whole family's over, there's baklava, shawarma, couscous, bro, fucking baba so ganoush, soak. That's just soup trying to say it in an Arab way. But, um, no, Ramadan's beautiful. And there's changes that go on in the body that, like, you can't even explain to people. It's like, it's like you become so, so, um, so like holy kind of like, like divine, omnipotent. Like you're just really nice. Like after the first days, cause the first days, this motherfucker got in a fight with my dad. Like they've almost fist fought. The first days are bad. Everyone's screaming at each other. They're like, fucking, why'd you move my shirt? It's like, I didn't move your fucking shirt. It's like, dog, it's a shirt. But fucking, after that, it gets real real wholesome and like, you know, you're all loving and like, you're just happy. Once, once you get used to starving yourself. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the first I mean, these bitches do it every day. Yeah. These bitches do it and they're still cold. So maybe it's not true. <laughs> but um, nonetheless, back to, um, back to, I was going somewhere with the Islam stuff, but. We'll get back to it. Let's talk about uh, some of the differences in our generations. A little bit of stuff. It's it's not too What deep. generations? So, fucking, I know it's not like really a whole different generation because I'm 23, you're 20, you're 19. So like, I'm only three years old. Yo, older yo, no, no, I'm, I'm 25, bro. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You tripping, bro. I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. But I feel like I feel like just watching him grow up like when I was when I was younger I just feel like things were a lot more wholesome like we were the last ones to actually gather around and watch cable TV I feel like I remember waking up watching cable TV like in the early that, days in like the early days the but like like for example you know since you guys were in middle school like fucking vapes were becoming a thing cars big, big cards big uh, social media presences like when i was in ninth grade instagram was still kind of fresh mm -hmm. like instagram like you didn't use it to to become a networker you didn't use it to become an influencer like that hadn't even been thought of yeah like you just had your homies on there and you post stupid shit like <laughs> fucking yeah, yeah. hashtag yolo fanners are Fuck it. I mean, this is Crush, but... Oh, shout out our new sponsor, by the way. Uh, Crush Orange Soda. And Zephyr Hills. And Zephyr Hills. Water of the gods, straight from the nectar of the Floridian lakes. And um, Orange Crack. 
Learn in springs. I heard, I heard like fat and crush, that shit like makes your balls small. I heard that about Mountain Dew. I don't know. Mountain Dew makes, your, sister. Mountain Dew makes, makes your, your dick small. small. Yeah. That's what I taught him at like He told me that when I was like a kid and I stopped yeah. drinking Mountain Dew for yeah. like years. Yeah. Good, good it didn't mother. work. It didn't work. Exactly. My dick's still small. <laughs> <laughs> That's just genetic, yeah, you gotta, brother. You gotta pray more, bro. <laughs> yeah, or pray more. Yeah. It's because he didn't fast till yeah. this year. <laughs> That's definitely what I mean. When you're when you're not eating, all your fat's being absorbed and sent straight to your dick. Mm -hmm. Straight up. But um, and enough about fat cocks. Um, <laughs> so the difference in the generations. I just I feel like with you guys, I don't even know how to explain it. There's there's a lot less um there's a lot less real culture understood. If that makes sense. Like kids my age, like or at least. Like, are you so funny as fuck? Cause we're in the same generation, bro. Hear me out. <laughs> bro. I was. You was born 2001. I was born 2003. Hear me out, though. Four. Those two years make a big fucking difference. Cause three. kids my age, oh, no, wait, two three years. Four. Kids my age, like remember Michael Jackson dying. You know? I remember that. No, you don't. I, just I, that. I swear to God, I was in South Beach in a Chinese restaurant that closed down when Michael Jackson died. Damn. I swear to God, I remember that. I Wait, when did he die? Him, what so year did he die? 2007? Yeah, I probably, I don't remember. I was, well, like, I was a little last kid. What? Yeah, you were like five, bro. Yeah, I, was, I remember that. I was like four. It was Michael four. Jackson, bro. How do you I get forget, it, I get bro. it. But what I'm saying is, you see how that's a big deal to you? Yeah. I feel like 90% of kids your age don't know any like real culture, don't feel any like any draw or like sense of importance for those kind of things because like everything is like phases to kids your age like everything's like a uh, water bottle challenge and duck lip challenge and ice bucket challenge like yeah. it's like it's like you've lived your whole lives in these fucking little like come and go little fads whereas like we were a little more immersed in like real culture and shit, like more sustaining things. You say so, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on this, but like, here, here's why I'm saying this. I, 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 I kind of get where you're coming from. Sometimes I'll talk to a chick your guys' age, right? Mm -hmm. Which isn't weird because, like you said, it's only two, three years younger than me. Three years, um, and she's legal, but. Fucking, I try to talk to her about like, like deeper shit, like old movies or or old like f phenoms, like like shit about Prince or something. I don't know, bro. Just like more culturally stuff, like stuff embedded in in like the roots. And they just want to talk about fucking literally what they saw that day, if that makes sense, or like yeah. what's trending now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just like some female shit though. That, that, that might just be shit. some girl stuff. But I don't know. Because no. like, I know a lot of girls my age that like, I that's can just, get that's into just they're getting That's just because they're getting more mature. But if you, you were to talk to them when you were 20, they would have been saying the same exact shit. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Maybe yeah. it is that's just a maturity thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good point. Good point. You know what I mean? Nonetheless. We're in the same generation, bro. <laughs> so, like, I thought I had something there, maybe not. <laughs> like, if you brought like a World War II veteran here, you will know, see some differences. <laughs> I feel like uh, I, might, night. I might be able to bring up a goodie here. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about uh, sobriety. Something only I can relate to in here. I'm sober. Off what? Off life. Off life, bro. I mean, no, I'm high on life. Yeah. I'm sober off drugs. All right, let's not talk about sobriety, actually. Let's talk about high off life. Yeah. That right there. Because that's, so, that's actually dope. So every day I, think. I wake up, <coughs> I thank God for my life. You know, I, I go I go down, you know, I walk on the beach. You know, I see the pelicans in the water. And I just think, like, damn, I'm so blessed. I feel you. Appreciate the word. Gratitude's about. important. And it sounds corny as hell saying it out loud, but like, really, if you just let every day go by with just your unchecked thoughts, just like taking life, whatever you see in front of you, like never taking a moment to step away and just be like fucking grateful for stuff or like actually check in with yourself. Like, what has God blessed me with? 
what has the world shown me? Like, yeah. what have I gotten to learn? What have I gotten to experience? It just kind of feels like, uh, you know that SpongeBob episode where Squidward wakes up every day and it's like him going to work? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's, it becomes that. You're just stuck in a cycle of like doing shit. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. live on yeah. auto autopilot. Exactly, yeah. man. Yeah. And that's where I wanted to get to with this. Living on autopilot versus getting high on life. Like, living on autopilot is depressing because yeah. we've all been there for a while. Like, you go through little stints where you forget. Yeah. Like, you just live on autopilot. And then, like, you know, not saying <clears throat> depression isn't real because there's people that genuinely have chemical imbalances and stuff like that. But, like, you start to feel kind of depressed. You're like, you're like what's the point of all this? Like... You know, you probably don't have that thought because that's like when it gets really bad. But like, you're kind of creeping there. You're like, you're like, all right, another day of work. All right, I gotta go pick up my brother after this, and then go to the gym, and then another night's sleep. You know, whereas like, if during all of that, like while you're at work, fucking, you have a great conversation with a coworker, and you're like, wow, that was that was awesome. Like, I learned so much from that, fucking. Also, it's kind of crazy that he thinks that way. Like, I don't think that way. Like, you start to fucking play little games yeah. with your life. Like, little introspections, little detective games. Like, figuring out how people think, that shit's crazy. Because we all think so different. Yeah. A lot of these people are fucked in the head, bro. That too. That is true. Isn't it funny when you come across someone that's genuinely fucked in the head? Yeah. Like... I like talking to them. I love it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I try to figure it out. I'm like, I'm like, am I getting through to him? My my Is favorite getting... conversations are like conversations with crackheads, bro. Yeah, so funny. Straight up, cause cause like they they like um, like every single crackhead used to be normal. You feel me? And, yeah. if, and if you ever like really talk to a crackhead and hear their story, it's like fuck, bro. You could have like any of us could have been there. You feel me? It's crazy. Also, motherfuckers on crack tend to lie a lot. Bro. Yeah. Like I don't. I, I talk to the fat heads. Oh, yeah. Crackheads are what? Fatheads are what's in I feel like crackheads went extinct. All the ones are fat now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all on that white. Oh, yeah. Fucking. I actually had a co worker today explain a story to me because he used to be on heroin. Oh, yeah? Very yeah. bad. He went to rehab for it. It's, he was like, it's called that mud because it's brown. Because I was showing him a picture of fentanyl versus heroin, and the heroin was white. He's like, bro, that's not even heroin. I was like, damn, really? He's like, yeah, heroin's not white. I was like, even if it's like pure, pure, he's like, no, motherfucker, it's brown. So like shows how little I know about that shit. Yeah. But compared to how much fentanyl I would take to kill you, like heroin versus fentanyl. And it was literally like, like this much fentanyl and like this much heroin. Yeah. yeah. And, and fucking, he was just telling me that back then fentanyl was just like making its run. And like when broke motherfuckers couldn't afford heroin, They'd be like, yo, let me get that, um... That bet. They, they call it something else. I think it was, like, White Dragon or something. I swear, bro. <laughs> that sounds like, racist. Get... Yeah, it does sound <laughs> racist. <laughs> Fucking... But <coughs> that shit's crazy, bro. They use it... They use it when women are, are giving birth. They use it to fucking... Yeah, they have, they have like, medical fat. Yeah. yeah, there's medical applications to it. That's what it was made for. That's, that's what it was originally made for. Yeah. yeah. It used to be in hospitals. I thought it was I think, I think it is. I think it's still No, that's, that's ketamine. Ketamine, that's what they say, but I don't know how a horse would get tranquilized off ketamine. It that hits shit makes you violent. Probably hits you, it hits some different. Shit, imagine the horse, they'd be high as fuck. Right, <laughs> they're just tranquil. They're not they're actually tranquil, sedated, yeah. but they're tranquil. Yeah. Damn. Bro, that's, bro that's, you ever seen someone get kicked in the head by a horse, bro? No. No. <laughs> Have you? It's not a, not a pretty sight. Bro. I like, bet. Uh, that shit probably dents their fucking head in. Look like fucking... Look like, like a senator of New York or something. <laughs> Dented ass head. That shit's fucked, bro. But... Pops that shit like a war. It's crazy how, like, futile humans are. Bro, we're so ugly. fragile. It's bro. crazy. And somehow, like, you know, We're all God, God willing, knock on wood, I was checking if it was fake wood, but <laughs> God willing, you know, some of us live to like 80, 90, 100. It's yeah. like kind of a crazy achievement to be able yeah. to go 100 years in these bodies. I feel like I'm going to die like at 50. Why would you say that? That's what I feel like. What do you think is the way you go? Like, fucking bomb. 
Yeah, I like fucking like missile strike. Nah, but I feel like I feel like it'd be more epic. Like someone throws a grenade in some building, and you're like, I got me and I can jump on that shit. I got you. Nah, probably fifty years old. You'll just be like, fuck it. You'll walk over. You're saying you can't run and die because you're fifty. Yeah, I have like. On set arthritis, yeah, right shit. there on the spot. You'll be like, I got it on yeah. my back. Also, like 50 years of smoking don't catch up to me. Bro. I'm gonna like take two steps. <laughs> you feel me? I'll be fucked. Bro. You think you can still hold your breath pretty well right now for how much you smoke? Yeah. I don't think so. For myself. They say when you hold your breath above water, 40. it's easier because you can breathe through your ears. Low key. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. What else could be the explanation? I don't think you're cheating right now. Or your butthole. Or your butthole. You know, you ever heard of boofing, Alex? Boofing is when you put drugs up a bitch's butthole. So she I, get. Like a drug in the mouth? No, like straight raw molly powder. What? Yeah, it's the it's the most um, potent way because they say smoking something. The eyes. Smoking something's like seventy percent potency. Snorting it's like ninety, and boofing it's a hundred. A hundred percent potency. <sighs> I don't know how much that was, <laughs> bro. The last count. I lost count, but, but you can see on the video I'm still doing the finger thing. Viewers, rewind that and try to outhold your breath on Andre. And tell us in the comments. Yeah, whoever whoever beats Andre. Crazy announcement, we're doing a Tesla giveaway. Yeah. Brand new, Model X. Um, if you can hold your breath longer than me. If you can beat Andre, but we need video submissions because there's no cheat in the charmster. Oh yeah. Never. Oh yeah, <laughs> never. Unless you my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Tough. Have fun that bitch. That's life, man. That's life, but speaking of life. So we first. What's your ideal family? We're gonna wrap this thing up with some rapid fire. Questions. Ideal family, three wives, 10 kids. <laughs> Russia for you. It's split evenly, like split. three kids, three kids, four kids? I, I, I don't know, however it goes. It's not very even. Like three wives though, like one Haitian, one Russian, and one Latina. That's a what good an interesting training. combination, yeah. That's a good mix. You can have some Haitian, basketball stars. And... The Haitian can <laughs> teach them about Christ. And basketball. Mm -hmm. The Latina, can teach them how to dance mm -hmm. and cook and cook and then the russian can just be your barbie princess yeah. they could be your yeah. body the russians aren't really good for much huh? no, i mean they could they're be your body they're 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 like some borscht or some shit some yeah, she could whip up some yeah. borscht or she could be just like the the law she's like she's yeah. like she would have to rush to tell her father uh, yeah like, yeah basically like, yeah. and out of these 10 kids how many boys how many girls i don't know brian god <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't have a, have a lever on my balls. That, that well, this the this is ideal family. You don't care, is what you're saying. Uh, there it goes. Okay. What about you, bro, bro? Ideal family, like a wife and two kids. That's what we grew up. It's in. pretty. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. I think. Two boys, or it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know if I'd want a girl. That sounds like it seems like a lot of work, but I, it I is, don't. But I'm sure it's super satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. Super fulfilling. Yeah, like my little princess. Maybe a boy and a girl would probably be ideal. Yeah. Because I know like fathers, they don't want it at the first, and then when they have the the daughter, they they love their daughter. Like Sylvester Stallone. Basically. Rocky. Rocky. Hey, Adrian. <laughs> hey, Adrian. How are you gonna give me five girls? <laughs> <laughs> I do great impressions, but um. You like my you like my Joe Biden impression? Yeah, that shows. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Bro, how is that the fucking president? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, people, you voted for this guy. Crazy. Oh, but I uh, I think my ideal family would probably be one wife and three kids. Three kids, interesting. Ideally, a, a youngest daughter and then two older brothers so they smart, can look after smart, her. Smart, 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 so you don't have to do that shit. shit. No, I would do it until <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. Um, whether it be death or I'm just fed up with their shit and I book it to fucking San Juan 
just mm-hmm. live out the rest of my life there. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. um, okay, what is what is your favorite clothing brand? Polo. 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 Polo to the socks like I'm Perry Evans. That's your shit. Yeah. What about you? Favorite clothing brand. Maybe Louis Vuitton. I don't know. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Some some simple. If you could be an actor, if I could afford it. If you could be an actor or a world famous athlete, which one would you rather be? Athlete. With in what sport? Football. Oh yeah. Or like or like MMA, like UFC. That'd be wrong. That would be. Yeah, but you. But you'd you'd be get your ass fucked up. I'm like, fuck. I'm not scared to get punched, but I'm saying like, if I'm if I was already there, you feel? I get you. I get you. I'm thinking about the journey. Yeah. Yeah. No, but even there, like to get to champ by the by the end of your career, you're gonna be like. Fuck it. That's what I'd rather be an actor, honestly. Oh yeah. Yeah. But like a, a known show actor, like famous. Bro, cause bro, if I'm an actor, I'm gonna have to I, suck I, some dick, bro. Yeah. Suck no dick. Nah, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, bro. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm trying to get fucked. Tom, Tom Cruise never sucked no dick. Who? Are Tom you Cruise. crazy? Tom Cruise, bro. Tom Cruise is <laughs> a Scientologist. He probably, bro, he hey, probably was Scientologist for his bro. initiation. <laughs> bro, do you know what the Scientologists believe in, bro? Science. A few of them. Oh, it's <laughs> like <laughs> fucking crazy shit. Bro. It's like aliens. Oh, they believe in like, this dump. Like, they believe like aliens into a volcano. And like they they, they believe that God is like a planet called like some shit. There's like some planet called Zebulon. So yeah, shit, like that. bro. Yeah. That's the planet of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, they believe in like some planet that's like the Holy Land or some shit. I don't know, it's crazy. Uh, Holy Mount Zion. Fucking. Okay. So actor, you'd go athlete. Mm-hmm. Um, What'd you do? Who do you think gets more girls? Actors. Depends. Depends what athlete? athlete. Depends what athlete, what actor. If Definitely you're the next athlete. Timothy Chalamet, you feel me? Be Actually, it's definitely get more hoes. I feel like you might have a point there, just because their peak physical perfection. That's true, but yeah. like, I feel like off recognition, girls but will girls recognize are into ass. personality more than we think. I feel like if you're just a Should good I looking have a personality? guy, of course you could have one. But if you're a good looking guy that's like deep in all these films, like oh, you play these different characters, they like. I feel like you'll be glorified. To be honest, bro, I feel like whatever profession you have, you could be a garbage man. You could still get hella hoes. Well, that's true. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. But no garbage man is out pulling Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to fuck some dirty hoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some you find in the garbage. Yeah. Some the crack lot lizards. Yeah. Some lot lizards, indeed. Fuck it. Do All what right. you got to do. Do what you got to do. And do All right. There. Would you rather fight a thousand chicken sized lions or one lion sized chicken no a hundred chicken sized lions or one lion sized chicken one, one lion sized chicken one it's a chicken i'll fucking karate chop that but it's got neck. claws quick ass pecking maneuvers do i get a weapon nah bare hand well, i mean first off bare hand a hundred fucking lions because even though they're small they're still fucking lions exactly. yeah, yeah, but when they pounce you grab them and you can slam their head no nah, but they got cat like reflexes yeah, they got they got cat like reflex they got That's claws true. still and they're micro claws they murk you even more. okay 10 because you're right 100 is crazy 100 is crazy yeah you're getting i feel sworn. like 10 yeah yeah i'll just kick all of them yeah you kick okay. the fuck out there yeah, yeah that, that's I'm more just, reasonable. Bro, I'm picturing a lion-sized chicken, and that shit is frightening. That sounds like death itself. It does, it does. I, like, I don't know. I feel like I could, like, I run like up on it and jump on that shit, on its neck. Just <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick fuck. All right. Would you rather be stranded in the woods for a month with one person mm-hmm. or stranded on an island for a week by yourself? So the island oh, have so. resources? They both have natural resources. Bro, I've, okay, I've been, I've been stranded. I'll do I've been stranded in the forest before, bro. That's like, terrifying. For a couple of hours. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's not a forest. forest. Like in Russia, bro. Oh, like, my, oh my god. god. With bears bro. and shit. <laughs> I was just watching a video. Of, you the probably Russian. heard of this story. This girl in eastern Russia, <laughs> fucking, that was out camping with her boyfriend, and they got mauled by a brown bear. Yeah, and crazy. she was the second one they got mauled. Like, watched him get demolished. She ain't running. She tried to. They said she made it 70 yards before the bear caught up to her and just grabbed her from behind. And you know what this girl does? What? She calls her mom. <laughs> and is on the phone with her mom for no, an hour. For an hour. While getting 
first smashed to death, then e and then the last like five minutes of the call, she's like, "Mom, it's okay now. I don't feel anything anymore." Oh my like, god! She, it was bro. It made me shiver down my fucking body. She's like you like, heard the call? And shit? Yes. That's horrible. Yes. I don't know why. I so she she calls like as she's about to get mauled. She, no, she called like, while she while was she's getting running. mauled. Oh, like midway through mall, she's like, "Yes, that's crazy." Yes. Imagine so getting that phone call, <laughs> bro, Imagine getting that phone call from bro, your daughter. Imagine bro. she didn't pick up. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> nah, probably for the best, honestly. Imagine he hearing that shit. Left the scariest voicemail of all time. Oh, bro. True. Okay. True. Now, yeah, I'll fuck with bears, bro. Bears are scary. If you were offered to be president of the United States tomorrow, would you take it? Hell yeah, I would, bro. What? Yeah. What would be your main focus? You only have four years, remember. But yeah, bro. My, my main focus... Turning it into a dictatorship. Nah. So I can stay longer. Nice. Nah. <laughs> that was my answer. I'm about to, you feel me? Um, we shutting down the border, right? <laughs> we ending the war in Ukraine. Just ending that bomb we, both of them. We, we, <laughs> we sending... We sending uh, boots on the ground in Israel. You feel me? Um, we invading Iran because they're the ones that started the war. We're Fuck cut the Ayatollah. We're, we're cutting. We're cutting ties with, with Saudi Arabia because they're the ones that are, that are pushing. Bro. Fuck them, Just bro. Boom. We're, we're, I'm, we're about to make, start making oil refineries in America. <laughs> so we have go. oil reserves oh. here. We're about oh. to cut off Saudi Arabia because they're the ones. Because they're the ones that are pushing the terrorist mindset on the whole Middle East. It's Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. bro. They're the ones behind everything. You feel me? Them Saudis, bro. That dirty Saudi money. And I'm fucking ending NATO mm -hmm. and fucking Shit. allying with Russia, bro. Oh, That's the <laughs> Put him in a coffin. <laughs> what about you? Would you take the job? Yeah. Yeah, I would. What would be your main focus? Like I said, bro, I'll turn that shit into a dictatorship so I can rule as long as I can. But you'd be a benevolent dictator, right? You'd make Is sure that like a bad are... thing? No, yeah, a good thing. Oh, yeah, malevolence a bad one, right? Yeah. Um, Maleficent. <laughs> um, I don't think I would be a good t dictator, honestly. I don't think with all that power. It would just go straight to your head. I think it would. But fuck it. I'm, <laughs> I'm riding into the rims to fall off. Exactly. Someone's going to have to Caesar my ass. Fuck it. They're going to have to Napoleon my day. ass. They're going to have to send me to an island like Napoleon, bro. <laughs> but he came back. And uh, Yeah, and that's what I'm going to do. The police is so annoying, bro. 5'2", <laughs> taking everyone's bro, life. He literally looked something. at the army that was on him. He's like, come on, y'all my guys. And then yeah, they joined up with him. like... They, they put their guns down and shit. They were like, hey, I'm the body She was badass. Uh, great discussion, fellas. Great discussion. I think uh, on that note, um, <coughs> any any uh, lingering lasting messages for the audience? You know? Stay celibate. All right, party Don't people. Stay it's been fun, <laughs> and thanks for joining us. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Fit check real quick. Awesome, awesome. Oh. Oh, oh, Ready for oh. the Oscars, what? <laughs>